Welcome to the Learn Flute Podcast. I'm Rebecca Fuller, your host and expert of all things related to learning how to play the flute. This is episode number 67. Let's get started. You can do it, and Rebecca will show you how. Step by step all along the way. Introducing the The Learn Learn Flute Flute Podcast. Podcast. Well, hi again. It's that time where you and I meet here on this audio episode that is designed with you, the flute student, in mind. Now, it doesn't matter what age you are and at what stage of the game you may be in. Everyone likes to learn a little more about their favorite hobby. And today, it's all about learning how to play the flute even better than you did yesterday. And today we're going to be discussing something that will save the pretty color of your flute. Remember when it was brand new? Well, even if you don't go back that far, today I'm going to tell you how to save your silver flute. Now, in the LearnFluteOnline.com programs, I take you through so many ins and outs on all sorts of subjects, and I feel like I've actually begun to scratch the surface of what there is to really learn. Now, in the Gold Level Lesson Series, there are about 400 different videos all set in sequential order, which then launch you into the intermediate and advanced levels, which will take you up over a thousand videos. Now, this doesn't even include the audios, PDF sheet music, MP3 accompaniments, and the articles that I have available for you. I also do an in-studio members-only training. It's like a masterclass each month that is just full of juicy tidbits that can really help with motivation and mindset so that you can take it up even another notch as a self-learner. Now, there are even many courses that I launch at different times of the year that are fun and subject specific. For example, I have a hymns course where I teach all of the styles and techniques that are needed to play in a smooth hymn style appropriate for any Christian worship service around the globe. Now, I have a super fun Irish flute and whistle course, as well as a super beginning jazz course. There's even more. I can, I guess I could go on and on with all of the benefits you awesome students receive by being a member here at Learn Flute Online. You have access to join all of these different programs, and I hope you're ready for even more great knowledge because I have even more coming at you. Now recently, I was doing a live video training on Facebook where there were about, oh, about 35 students on watching at the time, and I opened the video by showing them that it was time to change my silver saver paper in my flute case. And I asked them if they had recently changed their silver saver paper as well. And I got crickets. No one even commented. Well, I waited for a few seconds and it was dead silent. And then I asked about it again. Well, finally, one brave student posted in the comment box something like, excuse me, but what is a silver saver paper? (laughs) And I thought, whoa, I apparently have just assumed that all of you have been able to participate and see every single piece of content I have out there. (laughs) And I guess I assumed that you had remembered it all, too. Well, my bad. Let's review some important details like how to keep your flute shiny and new looking as long as possible. Now, I'm not sure if you received your flute as a brand new specimen because it's totally possible that you have a borrowed or even a used flute, and that is okay. But I wanted you to just imagine, if possible, what the shiniest, smoothest silver flute looks like. And if you can't, I'll help you today. They're about the prettiest thing ever. I mean, they just gleam and sparkle. Not a single fingerprint or scratch on them. There is nothing quite like it. Well, what happens over time is that the oils in our fingers combine with the silver and it slowly starts to dull. Also, air, oxygen, does a number on the quality of that silver plating on the instrument as well. 
Now, especially if you have a little habit of leaving your flute out for longer periods of time than you're actually playing for. Also, if you don't clean your flute well and wipe it all off before you put it away. Now, I know some flute players just like to look at their flutes and they feel that by leaving them out, they'll get practiced more often. Well, there's a big, huge problem with this and that's that silver tarnishes and it tarnishes way faster than we expect it to. Tarnish is kind of a peachy brown color, and it usually starts inside and under the mechanism on a flute. In fact, you should look at your flute right now. Take a very close view of the silver underneath all of those rods and springs at the back of the keys. Is it shiny and new looking under there? Or is it kinda turning brownish? That's tarnish and it spreads. I call it tarnish creep because it seems to grow once it's started. It just creeps all over the instrument. And it's very hard to get rid of. I think of it as a fungus. Now perhaps some of you scientists can explain this better, but I know that once it's there, it's hard to control. Kind of like a plant I have here called Creeping Jenny, or like a buttercup. It just goes all over the place, and no matter how much I cut and pull it out of my flower garden, it just comes back. Well, I think you get the picture that tarnish is a very undesired thing to have growing on your flute. Well, no worries, because ta-da, I have a fix for you. I've talked about this before, but as I said earlier in this audio, it's impossible for everyone to have kept up with every single detail and tutorial that I've given here online. And if you have, then well, congratulations and consider this a good review. Now it's time to either add or change your silver saver paper inside your flute case. Do you already have one? It's usually a dark gray paper. I've also seen white silky or kind of shiny plasticky ones. It just depends on if it came from a manufacturer with your flute or if it's something you purchased after. The silver or the dark gray ones say something like silver saver or three and a capital M on it. It's made of something fancy. Now from what I gather, it's a chemically treated paper that absorbs hydrogen sulfide and other gases before they can react with the metal of your flute and cause the tarnish. And they wear out. We have to rotate them. Every few months, we need to throw away the old one and get a brand new one in there. Just lay it on top of your flute and close the case. It'll help so much to keep your instrument shiny and new. If you haven't tried it already, you should try it now. Interesting subject, hmm? I should mention that I will put a link on the learnfluteonline.com webpage that would be forward slash 067 for this episode and you can get to the link where you could click to the Amazon store so that you can get yourself a little packet of these inexpensive papers for your flute and your flute will thank you and I thank you for being here today it's always a great day at learn flute online I'm so proud of you and wish you the best of luck this week This is episode number 67, and I hope I'll be seeing you in a lesson very, very soon. This is Rebecca Fuller, over and out. Thanks for listening today. Remember that this is where people of all ages, such as you, can come, learn, and play the musical instrument flute in an easy-to-follow organized manner and in the privacy and comfort of your own home on your own schedule.